Hey, welcome to the stream. Thanks for clicking. Hope you have been enjoying. It was a lazy intro this time, but... I was afraid for a sec that my con controller battery was, uh, was flat. Okay, it's got an update. Uh... Nah, fuck it. <laughs> we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Alright, I'm gonna stick to my strategy, which was... I'm going here. So, with all the other temples, there were two Koroks. So there was two at the Wind Temple, there was two at the Water Temple, and there was two at the Spirit Temple. So, if I'm following the logic, hopefully there's two up here somewhere. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, you're getting better at the Lionel fight, so that's good. Yeah. See, they're not, they're not tricky. Did you use a two-hander? <laughs> you did good. Yeah. I'll just upgrade your gear and you can fight some of the other ones. Alright, well, I have no systematic plan of searching this, so I'm gonna... Just gonna fly around at different elevations and hope something goes off. Did mad him a few times, so you don't see why you shouldn't. Oh, I was just saying don't do it because I wanted to keep the fight very, very bare bones, so you could see not to be afraid of the Lionel at any given point. If you could see that standing still really didn't get you hurt once you knew what to do, then the rest is like, then you can get into the advanced tactics of like, mounting him, all that stuff. I mean, if you want, I can fight a Lionel and you can see, like, I don't just do what, what I told you to do. That was more in the interest of like, I guess, getting your state of mind into a different place, you know? Where you could just see the Lionel fight as, oh, this dude's gonna do like one of three attacks or one of four attacks. It's actually not that hard at all. Instead of seeing it as like this threatening thing that could do anything random like a wild animal. It's not, it's just, yeah. Once you know. There's ore up here, which is interesting. It's like when I was telling you not to use the bow, alright? It's not that you shouldn't use bows against Lionel, as I was telling you specifically not to use bows, because I saw it was causing you problems. More problems than being beneficial. So I said, don't use the bow. But you're more than welcome to use the bow if you get used to it. Alright, that'll do. Is there really nothing here? Okay, so maybe... Well, no, because I guess the Koroks that were in the other temples, they weren't directly on the temple, they were around it. Oh crap, it's coming hot again. Okay, it's alternating. Hang on, just do that. It's fine. Uh, but... Oh, hello. There is something here. What is this? It's not a car off, but... Okay. 
Never mind. All right. While I'm in the desert, let me see. Okay. So there's a two times Korok. So this is what I'm going to do tonight. Because, you know. I'm going to look at these ones. The diamonds. Because I've marked where all the two times Koroks are. And I'm just going to go back to the spots and kind of check the general area around them. So in this desert, there are four. Which is not too bad. So I'll do that and then just pr let's just assume... This bottom corner doesn't have any more Koroks. Because I think... Yeah. The desert in Breath of the Wild was empty, so I'm just gonna follow, like, that... That mentality. Just assume this area is... Is empty. And that I've done my job here. The area that I'm going to look at the most probably is Elden, because that has... Okay, one, I didn't have the Korok mask at that point. And two, there's just... I noticed there's just... There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's another. There's another, there's another, there's another, there's another. There's just a lot of these ones, and they have to travel a fair distance as well. Because if I look at my... I mean, the best I could figure it out. Hold on. I hate when it does that. Alright, if I look at this... Yeah. So, there's this one, which you can kind of see like a flight path that would have had to have traveled... Like... Along here. You can kind of see it. I would have picked it up here. It's like a perfect diamond shape. So that means anywhere along the way I could have missed one. Anyway, that's my thinking. We'll see how it goes. I don't really have a better way to, to do this, but... Hopefully I'm right. And this doesn't turn to just going through every part of the map again. Alright, so I'm just gonna go up this way. Because I assume this is where this Korok came from. It probably, if I was to take a guess, probably came from all the way to the other end. I do remember one of these Koroks that you had to carry from one end of the desert to the other, and that sucked. But if I can find all the Koroks in, say, the next couple of hours, I can probably finish this game tonight. That's very wishful thinking, but we'll see. Because all I'm going to do is find them all, and then that's it. I don't really have an interest in the other stuff, because it's just... The president signs, I might look at a map just to do them all, because unfortunately there's no way to track them in-game. So it's kind of out of my control. I would love to do all the president signs, but there's just no way for me to know where the ones that I've done are. It, it just sucks. It's like a bit of a weird oversight. Oh shit. Get off it, get off it, get off it. It's gonna eat my motorbike. Right, I don't have a weapon equipped. Yeah. <laughs> 
There's also still one bubble frog somewhere, so... I haven't really taken that into account either. Wait, what's this? Now, this is something, isn't it? I see rocks, or am I imagining it? Hey, Masai, how was my day? Ah, uh, boring work. <laughs> Not a whole lot to say, really. Uh, but hope you had a good 4th of July. It was actually quiet because of that, like, didn't have many... many things to answer today as a result. Oh, okay, we're done. We're done. Alright, we're gonna find out what happens with the bubble frog guy. How far am I into the Korok gathering? I have... under 20 remaining. I can't remember how many. Just, it's, it's gonna suck. Because there's a realization I came to a couple of days ago that... Yeah... I'll, I'll explain it in a minute. I'm checking on the- I've completely checked the Sky Island, so there's- there's nothing left in the Sky Islands, I don't think, except... Like... The central one, which... I don't believe there's anything there. Unfortunately, this one, it's- because it's at the start of the game. This map isn't helpful. Like, it- It doesn't mean anything, so I just went- I did a couple of laps of this yesterday, and just- Yeah, that's the best I can do. But if I get desperate, I'll go back up there again. Alright, just, let's just find the bubble frog. That's all I care about, really. Is this? So, I mean, there's only a small handful of them left, but it's probably going to eat up a bunch of time here. I don't know how you could possibly get through this without the sage. They don't give you that many bombs in this game. I'm going to have to kill that. I just think these things are such a waste of time. Oh. Yeah, what do you usually get up to for uh, the 4th of July stuff? <laughs> kind of a little jealous, because... <laughs> There's no public holiday here until September, so... Public holiday drought. But the next one is like, uh, a day off for a football game, so... That's... That's what I like talking about. Oh, man, 
and I'm going to be here forever. Okay, hang on. Up the rock. There we go. I find this thing still clunky. Okay, there we go. This is working better. Happens if you're a diamond or weapon. Never tried. I just assumed there'd be something like a magic rod, which I don't really use. And it's a waste of money. I have like maybe 15 different things I've tried to fuse items onto. I found stuff that I liked right away and then just haven't really deviated from that. Everything has an effect, which is nice, but I'd say 90% of them are useless. Oh man. Uh, but you're spending time with the family, a lot of fun, and a lot of young food, yeah. It's good shit. Hey. Thank you, Bob. I hear it. Hear it. It sounds like it's in this direction. Okay, the sword is pointing that way. How are you supposed to do this without this sage? You're just gonna run out of weapons. You're gonna run out of bombs, you just can't do this without it. Yep. Uh, is that, yeah, that's another statue going that way, then the statue's going this way. Okay, I think we're at the end of it. This looks promising. Oh, right, yeah. I forgot I hadn't gotten that yet. Okay. Sora's frog.
I heard the frog. Where is the frog? It's probably like a, another side room somewhere. I can hear it. It's, it's here. Yeah, I can hear it. I love how this started off as following just the path of a Korok, and now we're here. There you are, you bastard. Alright. That sh should be the last one. You found all the bubble gems. You should meet with Colton. Alright. Uh. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna do that now. Let's just get that out of the way, because I'm curious. This is the easy way to meet him. Okay. Cool. One last thing to worry about. See, Zelda games back in the day, this the bubble frog gems was probably the most you had to find in terms of stuff. It was like, oh, just 150, that's fine. He's already there. All <coughs> oh, right, swap clothes. Between... Okay. I found 900 Koroks the first time I played Breath of the Wild. I found the other 900 when I played it again this year. So that's 1,800. And then by the end of this one, 2,800... Well, seeds, but, you know. Over 2,500 Koroks is what I want to say that these two games have made me find over the years. So that's that's something. Good evening, traveler. It's a fine night. Yes, very fine. I sense the presence of zero bubble frogs. I don't believe it. You collected each and every bubble gem? Traveler, you didn't do that just for me, did you? Here you go. Hang on. Just in case I want, like, a good lazy thumbnail for the video later. There we go. That works. <laughs> I'm so happy beyond happiness. At last, the dream I've dreamed of for so many years. No time to lose. Down the hatch. <coughs> Something's happening. Something strange and uncomfortable and, and different from before. Ah, this is it. I'm finally turning into a Satari. Sadly, I don't have any treasure left to give you, but I must reward you somehow, so please accept this item I made myself. God damn it. Another fabric. If you wouldn't mind, please show this to Kilton and give him my best. Ah. Traveler, thank you so much for joining me as I chase my dream. You helped me get this far. No matter the outcome, I have no regrets. None. I look forward to meeting you again. And in some form, take care. I think I know where we went. Oh. He actually turned into one. Okay, I know where to go. I bet it's this ominous thing that I found. Oh yeah, there you go. So I have uh, 16 to go. Let's 
That's not too bad. I may as well. I see some golden ones. Did I see your question? What, the diamond thing? Yeah, I answered it. I said I, I don't know, because I've never done it before. But I was I would assume it's a waste of money. I've only fused like 15 or so things. I found stuff that I liked and then, yeah, just let it be. Every item has an effect, but I would say 90% of them are just things that are like, oh yeah, that's, that's alright, but... It's like, you could fuse a piece of meat to something and it's doable, but it's not really something that's gonna do much. I didn't try it because I associated it with magic. Because all the gems do magic stuff and I just don't use magic in the game. Like if we look at my... This is... This is my top list. Bright Bloom Bomb. Fire Fruit, Ice Fruit, Shock Fruit, Splash Fruit. Muddle Bud, Dazzle Fruit, Puff Shroom. These two horns, just to do more damage. And then, if I'm fighting... Hang on, because arrows is different. Oh, I don't have them, that's why. If I'm fighting... Um, what do you call it? Gliox, I use Gibdo Bones. But that's pretty much it. I don't really deviate from that stuff. As you go further down the list, it's stuff that I've used maybe once. Alright. Let's see if I'm right. No? I thought if you would... You would, uh... I thought maybe this would be the spot where he would end up eventually. I mean, otherwise, it's... it's here. Alright, I don't know then. Maybe you don't run into him again. Okay, anyway. That's fine. Alright, back to the Korok thing. Uh, I'm going... here. Uh, Alright, let me look at this map for a bit. You know what? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just... do that. Do that. I'm just gonna mark... The, the, wherever I see 2x Korok, and the, so the way I should do this, I should look, because there's no way for me to see the original path that I took for each one of these, but this one I remember, this one heads up in this direction, no wait. That's the end point. It heads from this direction. And then this one would have come down from this direction, from here. Fuck it. I'm, I'm just gonna explore. I'm just gonna explore. I'm not gonna try and figure it out. It's just... Alright. I'll say it again with the concrete example. 
where I, I it kind of clicked. But, okay. So, where was it? It was this hill. Yes. So, there was a lazy Korok here. Alright. So, I had to drive it down this hill. Across this bridge. To here. When... I finished delivering it, I started walking back, and then this went off. And then it clicked, I was like, shit. So, you know, from here to here, the mask is going off because I'm carrying a Korok. But it's not telling me that this was here, this was here, and this was here. So every time I'm carrying one of these little fuckers somewhere, there's a potential that I've missed a few Koroks along the way. And it's kind of evil because if you look at if you look at it, a lot of the two times ones, they'll have like maybe two or three right along the path. So you're gonna miss it. And it's not a coincidence because the ones that I found yesterday, um, the extra ones, they were all right next to these two time Korok. So I would bet that the ones that I'm missing are right next to these, one of these. Like, it doesn't matter. One, that's why I marked all of them. So that's, that's my strategy, is I'm going to all the 2x Koroks and looking in the area of them. There's 16 left, I just have to be correct anywhere between 8 to 16 times. Which is not bad. So I'm going I'm going to do Elden and Akala first, then Zora's Domain. I think those are the two areas where you had to really uh like take these little dudes across quite a bit. Okay, so this is the end point. So let me have a look. What's nearby? Uh I kind of flew across this area. Okay. Do I have a dragon horn to speed this up? Where is... Yes, I do. Alright, cool. Alright, super speed starts now. Half an hour of looking. Uh, turn around. This way. Okay. I, I don't have that that good of a strategy beyond this. If this fails miserably, then the other thing is just look on my map and just look at spots where I guess I didn't explore too much. Because there are pockets of the map where I just kind of... I half-assed it, admittedly. But that was because I was using Breath of the Wild knowledge. I was like, okay, in Breath of the Wild there wasn't anything here from what I remember. If I can find two, two Kor just two Koroks per region that I've missed, then this is fine. That adds up to the missing number. So that's what we're looking at. Awesome, it dropped a tail. Uh, this is just the 
tunnel down, but I'll kill this thing at the very least. I think I'm not going to use the, the air bike as well, just, just to make sure. Alright, I'm heading back to blue. Hold up, what's that? The mask would have gone off already, so it's nothing, but I just wanted to be sure. Use that to smack open rocks. Okay, uh, I guess I've looked around the first one enough. Uh, wait, no. Hold on. It just clicked, like, what if it came down this path? This is... Going through the ceiling here. <laughs> I thought for a sec I'd found the core, but uh, the amount of rocks that are just in this game that are nothing. I just noticed that that peak there was not explored, so if I could try it. Hold on, let me have a look around here. Uh. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm going here. Here. It could be along one of those three things. Oh shit! Alright! That's good. 
That counts for two. Okay, 14 remain. Uh, I'll just put them on a cart. I'm going to be lazy. You know what? This works. No, you know what? It works. Wow, I'm surprised. Wow, okay. Steering wheel wasn't necessary. The fuck was that? Oh my god. It's a bomb. <laughs> that wasn't me, little guys. Who did that? Oh, these assholes. That looked funny. Okay. Good. I'm going back, so this is what I'm going to do. Go, gonna go back up this path. I'm still gonna go check over there. Alright, 14 remain. How did I not see this one? Because I got this cave. How is that even possible? Alright, whatever, man. So even if I don't find another one here, it's fine. Like that. As long as I find two Koroks per area, per part of the map, I've got this. I could probably leave here right now, but I'm not. After this, I'm going to the next 2x Korok. I should- oh, you know what I should do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, get rid of the- get rid of the diamond once I've looked around that area. Um, I'll change it to... ...a heart. <laughs> Just... I'm not gonna delete the stamp, because there was a lot of work to get all those stamps on there. I'll put a heart, that means I checked. Would have gone off already if there was something here. Right, I'm heading to purple now. I'm also going to try and cover parts of the map that I haven't covered, so. That includes here. Do I want to make shiny? That one. 
<sighs> but it's just gonna get long throat. Do I have anything? I don't really have anything that I want it to eat. I just have long throw. Yeah, Alright, screw it. Next to X Karak to look around. I'm just going to look around the general area. Yep. <laughs> These two X Koroks, man. Like, I'm telling you. They're evil. Did I go? I don't think I went through it. Assuming. I'm not joking, but like collectively, I think I've found 20 Korok seeds that I would not have found if I didn't go back. All right, I'm gonna keep looking. That's uh, 13 remain. This has to be in in a circle around it. It doesn't. I don't have to go too far into it. Like that's probably too far down there. I think just around the area. That's what's worked. This is good enough for this one. Okay, mark this one with a love heart. Looked around there. Alright, the next one is... Uh, we're heading to... Yeah, there. Okay, yellow. The odds of there being more here are now, like, significantly less. Hold on. So I don't confuse myself. Delete that pin.
I could have teleported there, but I, I think I need to be walking everywhere. Hold on, I'm gonna check under here. Just in case there's not one of these ceiling Koroks. No, okay. What? The fuck? Why was it being so weird? Oh. That would be why. <laughs> Oh, you know what? While I'm here... Where is she? Sabak. Oh. Ah. Yeah! <laughs> eh? Yeah! Ah, oh. oh, damn it. Alright, well, I'm rich now. Money problems are over. <laughs> Hold on. Where's the armor shop? It's the one piece of armor I don't own from here. It's the only one I don't own. Alright. All good. Okay, I may have overcomplicated this a little. They can, they can murder each other, it's fine. I'm just gonna walk away. Alright, we're looking around... Here's the problem with these ones. These ones I remember... They... They were usually from one end of this sort of... Structure to the other. So... I'm not really sure what's the best way to do this one. Shit. Okay. Let's have a look at the map. Uh, yeah, the, I mean, I'll just run around the general area. It's probably the best thing I can do, just not... not look at the map too much. If there's one thing I regret about this is I should have tried to get into the Lost Woods a lot sooner than I did. And I blame that on the underground, because I just did not enjoy the underground <laughs> the slightest. So there's a bunch of stuff that I could have gotten sooner. It's okay. I now know. Just... I remember people trying to nudge me in that direction, and I should have paid attention to it. There were gentle nudges. Hey, Will. Have you tried going to the Korok Forest? Hey, Will. 
Have you tried going underground? How much of the underground have you done? Ah, oh, you know, there's cool stuff in the underground. Fuck is that? Oh, right, this. As much as I hate to say it, I think for here the best thing I can do is just kind of walk around the whole map, because there's one here, there's one here, and I wouldn't be surprised if this one comes across from here, and this one came across from, like, somewhere over here. So almost like this whole area I should look at properly. But I mean, outside of those, I think we'll, this area can almost rule it out for now. Until I start getting desperate. <laughs> Freaky. Look at that. <laughs> it looks so dystopian. Ah, oh, the dragons here. Uh, let it travel a little bit further and then I'll quickly teleport to Skyview Tower and get another horn. everything. I mean, I'm happy, but, like, at the same time... This has nothing to do with the 2x Korox, this is just me not climbing up here. I should've- I should've known. Okay. Getting closer. Um, is that far enough? I think that might be far enough, hang on. I'll teleport back to this one. I just want to get a horn. So then, I can keep up with the half hour speed boost. 12 remain! Looks like Elden's been pretty good to me. That's good timing right there. Okay, I need to swap clothing. Twice. Okay. 
I think this is my favorite new armor set. That's so useful. Nice. <laughs> Okay, and now, so we don't die. There we go. Collect all the goodies. Which I'm like, pretty convinced at whatever the last fight might be, I'm just going to be spamming these things as arrows. I'm sure they make good weapons. <laughs> Lionel Bow just with these things. Is this straight too- I think this is straight too far from... Yeah. I'll just teleport back. Okay. We go from... this one. climb on the shrine. Have I gone to the peak of this? Uh, hard to tell. <laughs> it's the problem with this map now. Is you can't really tell. I'll just do it. Let's be thorough. around. Alright, so I just went to the Inobuco building, so that's done. Uh, what's next in terms of landform? Probably that thing there. Okay, I've been here. If you're wondering sometimes why I only pick two of the fruit, it's because then I know, oh, I've been here. If I'm ever running around in circles, I know, oh, there's only one fruit there, so don't go there.
I would honestly say green is covered. So let's just say these are good. Okay, next is like this sort of circle. This, this has been working well so far. I don't expect this to be successful every single time I go to one of these Korok markers, but damn, so far. It's led me in the right direction. Could also be that just this area was very early on. Walk around this lake at least once. Or do this, this is probably quicker. I saw that this hadn't been climbed on. I already know there's nothing good that's sort of gone off already. But, for good measure. Alright, and then at the top of this one as well. Right? Yes. Next one. Damn, speed buffs over. This one's underneath, isn't it? I have missed so many of these ones. Okay, since I need a new speed buff, I'm gonna go get more fleet seeds. And then I'll teleport back to the shrine and continue. Um... 
Alright, that'll do for that one. Okay, so I want to go down into a color because there's like one here, which there's a few in a color. All right, but first, was it that one? Yeah, it's a star. Oh shit, nearly down to the last ten. <laughs> I'll be happy if I get anywhere near finish today. Okay. I can also swap armor now. This is the best po spot to get these seeds, so... I just keep coming back here to grab them. Then I just get dragon horns and that's half an hour of, uh... Max move speed, pretty easy. Also frogs, but eh. I don't have stamina problems anymore. Yeah. All right, we're good. Go back. Uh, it was this one, right? Yeah. Okay, let me make some... Get rid of that. Alright, so this right here, this is like a massive hole. So here, then go here. Then go here. Okay, before dropping down, let's just pay this a visit. Then here. And then this is the part where now we explore around this thing. So I'll end up here. So I'll explore around this immediate area. Alright, that's the plan. Fire with fire, though. I got another tail.
Oh, okay. Well, I have to fight that. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, it's on the back. Okay, uh, spear, where's my spear, where's my spear? I don't have a... S oh, yes, I do. No, but it's not a good weapon. It's that one. That's the one. Make another spear. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. I need a. Alright. I got it. I got it. This is high enough. I'm not really checking that thing because I, I got the Korok on top of that already. Okay. Yeah, this is it. I got me halfway up. Oh, 
Okay, nothing. Just for sanity's sake. I'm checking the entrance. Okay, no, it's fine. Okay, head it to gold. Because I imagine that's the direction that Korok came from. There's going to be a lot of walking today, just because I don't want to teleport and potentially miss things, so... <laughs> yeah, I know... <laughs> I know the Korok hunting doesn't make the best viewing sometimes. Especially if we go like 20 minutes without finding one. Going into red. Alright. Oh, blue. No, blue, 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 blue first. Blue first. Red is where I want to end up. Right, so I'm just going to go along this perimeter sort of thing. Yeah. down as well. I suppose I should look up as well. Uh, I think I need to drop down. There's three layers here. There was one here in Breath of the Wild. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like in the same spot. I saw. I was like, I saw a rock. That is, that is so evil. They know what they're doing with that one. That is purely just to throw you off.
that are... Yes, it is. I'm going to tech that and put it on my shield. Still one level higher. Well, well, well. Alright, this one had nothing to do with a two times Korok. This was just me filling in a spot that was uh, probably a bit lazily done. Okay, now we head to red. Wait, that's 10 now, yeah? I think I'm down to 10. Down to 10. Okay, so with this one, let's just look in the woods, more or less. And immediately around the woods. Just in case the delivery of this Korok was, uh, affected. I'll just do a zigzag. Okay, it's done. That's <laughs> like, what? It's okay, it's okay, it's done. That's scaring the crap out of me. I forgot to uh, mark these. I looked around that. Okay.
Well. Wait, is that a... Yep, that's a pad. I thought that was a nest for a sec, but nope. Alright, got another one. G. Another one that's in close proximity <laughs> to a double Korok. Nine remain. All right, I'm marking this as looked at. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. Okay. I haven't looked at this lot of trees. Around here. Alright. Well, in the interest of that, let's go there. Uh, This one looks like it was just from, if I look at it, this one looks like it's just from here to here. In fact, yes, I remember. I shot a rocket up here. So I think we can skip looking around that one. I distinctly remember I shot a rocket and was really happy with how it landed up there. Um, the beach. I did this one when I realized. So this one should be safe because I drove up and back. So I, I did the lap, because at this point I was aware of what was going on with the double Korok thing. And same with this one. Because some of these ones I, I found later. Fuck. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm going to the peninsula. Like, that- that's- that's really lazy. I would not be surprised if there was, like, a second one in that spiral. Ugh, it's so clunky to use this sometimes, hang on. Bring it, make the lion fade away. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> that's- Alright! So, without question, we're going here. Like... Pretty much. I'm just gonna run around the whole thing. Okay, that's where I'm going next. Oh, there's a Lionel down here. It's just a red one, not worth the time. Nine remain. Just mentally prepare yourselves, because now very well could be like an hour and I don't find anything. <laughs> okay, we're looking around purple next. I think I know where purple came from. Purple... This is a comedy Korok. It came from over here. I remember I, I sent it flying and there was an enemy camp there. So I can back... I can... I just saw that camp and I was like, wait a minute, I remember this. I accidentally launched the Korok into an enemy camp and then... Yeah. It landed over there, that camp there. Okay, so I'm just gonna retrace this Korox path, which would have been from the stable. Uh, 
Um, let me... The ones that I'm satisfied are done. Okay. <sighs> Can't remember what spot it came from specifically, but it'll be around here. to Spiral Island. Go to the innermost part and then walk out. If there's a car up here, I will... I don't know who said it, but someone told me, yeah, you should walk around the whole thing. I got lazy. Oh, crap, they're in one of these. I don't think there's another one here. And I think I know why. Because this is a tier, technically. Shit, I should go get that. This is technically a tier, and every tier only has one Korok. And I already found the Korok here. I bet this doesn't have one. Probably prioritize the dragon. I can always come back here. Yeah. I'm pretty certain about this now. Yeah, I'm I'm very certain about this now. I'll probably still catch up to it. All right, let's go. I'm very positive there's nothing here. Okay, uh, go. <sighs> Nine left. <laughs> I'm so close.
after skydiving, I should be able to catch up to it. I don't know if it's been 10 minutes, but... Should be fine. Alright, go. I should also teleport to the other tower because I saw the light dragon. Um, hold on. These have respawned yet. Let's just make sure I'm right. I'm pretty positive I saw the light scale dragon. Let's just go. I either went to this tower or went to the other one. Hey, Colin, how's it going? How's your 4th of July? See if I'm right. I don't see it, just immediately teleport to this one. I saw it, I just don't remember what direction it was headed in. It went from relaxing to cleaning like a mad person because people just wanted to turn up. Damn. It's no more chilling by the pool, huh? Just looking, just looking. I swear I saw it, I just don't know what direction it headed in. Alright, let's not waste any more time. I got my next half hour buff anyway. Okay, uh... I'm going to check this one, I think, and then we're good. So let's just teleport to this one. It's 
okay, I'll go to the pool in your in your lunch break. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm down to the last nine. My theory of the double Karak has been completely correct. Okay, uh... I mean, there have been a couple where it's just like, I probably would have checked later, because the map wasn't completely filled in, but I'd say like, 75% There's the fucking, is that the light dragon? No, that's Din, it's okay. I haven't, so the way that I'm doing it is the ones that have a love heart, those are the ones that I've done. The diamond ones are the ones I haven't done. I'm not doing all of them, so for example, because I had already realized when we were up to this corner of the map, pretty much. Like, I feel like this corner of the map is completely safe from that shit. So, I'm going- I went here first, and there's a lot of results here. Then I'm gonna go to, um, Zora's Domain. And then around Farron. So those are the, the oldest ones. And then, after, I guess we'll see where we are, because Lanera I've kind of been in and out of. And I, like, I had realized a little bit in Lanera. So, we'll see. I'm following just a very loose plan. Alright, I need to set a... Oh, I'm heading in the right direction. Cool. So, we're heading here. I found all the, uh... What do you call it? Bubble frogs, though. The last one was a hole in the desert, so... Because I went to t check the desert temple. There were no Koroks on the Desert Temple, which was surprising. I thought there would be two there. What was the reward? A cloth. <laughs> which, I don't know what I was expecting, but yeah, it was like a piece of cloth. And the dude turned into a, uh, one of those little, little creatures. I think you meet up with him again later, I don't know, but he turned into one. I mean, like, like it's, it's underwhelming, but it's still better than what the Korok reward was, which was, at least I can put the cloth on and, you know, there's something visible that you can always see, so. It's better than the light re reward, I will say that. I'm just going to look around these woods, pretty much. Like the Twilight one the best. Yeah, the Twilight one is really good, but that one, you need the amiibo to get it. So it's not available for everyone. But this one's my favorite. It just looks cool. Tell you what, I am grateful for the 4th of July. It just meant work today was quieter than usual. Oh, all the Americans had a day off, so that means <laughs> there's not many people communicating today. Yeah, it's like indirectly, because, you know, we have American-based clients. So I got to catch up on some stuff that took a little 
Bit of focus, and it was good to get that focus. So I want to go to Zora's Domain. I don't believe that Northern Zora's Domain has anything for me, but I'm just going to walk across it. You just never know. Anyway, that's done. So we're going to go... Past Akala Citadel. Go here. Go up one of the waterfalls and yeah, we'll see where we go. You wouldn't be surprised for it to be quiet the rest of the week. People take the week off. Oh no, I already, there's already stuff for me tomorrow. <laughs> double, double meeting. That's already been arranged. It's just like, okay. It's alright, it's just it's work. It is what it is. Uh, there's a Korok on that tree, I already got it. Your next alpha is September. Oh, me too. <laughs> Don't know what day, but it's like towards the end of it. It's Okay, so the public holiday, it's one that's only celebrated in the state that I live in, but... If I t if I explain it in a, in simple terms, it's we we get a day off for a football game, which is at the end of the month, and it's whenever the grand final of that football game is. Think of it as having a day off for the Super Bowl. Now that might sound stupid, but the reason soccer no, it's Australian football, which is like its own thing. I would not be able to explain it to you if I tried because it's like, I, I don't even understand it. But it, it uses a pigskin and it's not played like any other sort of pigskin type sport. Aussie rules is very brutal. Yeah, people get hurt. <laughs> but the reason we get a day off for it is because the sport originated in the state that I live in. So it's like a historical holiday. It's kind of celebrating the fact that our state created, um, you know, one of Australia's national sports. So. That's, that's why we have a day off for it, but I like to just explain it as having a day off for a football game because it makes the Americans just, like, so confused and wish they had a day off for the Super Bowl. I've never, ever watched the full game of AFL. Not once. That's what I mean, like, I, I consider myself Australian. That's what I refer to myself as. But, you know, I think there's degrees of Australian, and I'm not at that level where, oh yeah, talk like this with a bit of a nasally voice and go watch the footy. I just don't do that. should get the Super Bowl off, everyone watches it. Well, not everyone in Australia gets the day off, that's the difference, it's like... If you were to get the same holiday we would, just go back in history and find out... Wh where... where football started in America. And that would be the state that gets the day off. That's how it works here. It's like... We're the only ones that get the day off. The rest of Australia doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> 
Apparently it started in Jersey. Well, there you go. They would get the day off. I don't, I don't believe for a second there's anything in upper. But we're going to look at where the two times Koroks are in lower. So once I get to the actual town, I'll, uh, I'll craft another half hour buff and let's just plan it out. I should also look at holes in the map. Fuck. Uh, is that close? Yes, it's close to the tower. Alright. Change of- brief change of plan. Every time I do this, it's a half hour movement speed thing, so it's worth it. This will cover me for the next hour. Distraction? Eh, I mean, it's in the area. Like, I'll probably get it and then just drop down into the town. It's fine. Oh, oh, it's the light one as well. I didn't know it flew so close. Yeah, that's nice and easy. I love how I refer to this one as an it, even though I know the plot twist. <laughs> Where are the scales? Where are the scales? I mean, shards, spikes, things. There we go. I gotta be careful how I shoot the swans, because sometimes I shoot the horn and it gives me a scale. It seems to be like a little jank. Faces. Anyway. Yeah, see, no distraction. I'm back on course. This is where I wanted to end up anyway. Gonna check up here, but I'm pretty positive I got both here. We're good. If I find all nine today, I'm going for Ganondorf tomorrow. It's a good question, probably. If I, let's say I find the final two in the next hour. I mean, final seven. Jeez, why did I say two? Because there's two up here. Um, let's say I find the final ones in the next hour by some miracle. I could finish it tonight and be done with it. I'm going to assume that I'm going to finish this tomorrow. Unless it's just disastrous and the last, the last ones just take ages. That's the thing, I don't know. <laughs> I, could, I could very well finish this in an hour and we'll be happy, or this could take three days. It's 
been going very well so far, though. I will admit to that. It's been going exceedingly well. So now a speed buff. Okay, so let me plan out what I'm going to do here. Ah, uh, okay. Cool, so th this gives us a better idea of what we're looking at. I figured this out yesterday, is you can turn off... You can turn off the lines that aren't at the elevation you're at, which is so much easier to read now. Okay, so already, that's an area we're going to go look at. Do it again. There's a 2x Korok over here. And... Yeah, I mean... Those woods. Let's look at those woods. Yeah, I mean, maybe... Maybe along this road. I kind of skipped that road. And there's trees... Alright, like, here. How'd I do that? Press Y. So, press Y once, press Y twice. Because of, because of that, I found three Koroks yesterday in Central Hyrule, because just figuring that out, I found three Koroks as a result. I don't know why that isn't the default, but anyway, let's just put that aside for a minute. Uh, yeah, probably. I'm just looking where there's clear gaps where I just... Yeah, probably here. Shit, stop, 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 stop. I lost that spot. How was that? Here. Alright, that should do, because this is high ground, and that... That I'm pretty confident in. Um... This was done later, so that's fine. Um, this one I'm very confident in, so we can just do that. Very doubtful that this would have affected anything. Alright, do that. Because the ones around here, they were, they were done later, and I, I kind of was aware of the effect that 2x Koroks have. Um... I might do another lap of the swamp, just on bike. Because there's, there's a couple here. So, let's do these markers, and then head into the swamp and do another lap of the swamp. And that should be okay, for what I want to do with this area. This is before I start resorting to desperate measures. I'm just going for what I feel like is gonna be the most logical place for them to be. And half out, let's go. After this, we're going to Farron, um, and maybe Laurelin since that's, like, right next door. Baron has quite a few of these 2x Koroks as well. Alright, so this one's referring to high ground, so let's get up. But, you know, if there's ever a master mode in this, and one day in the future I have to play this again, with those same rules. Uh, at least I'll... I think I'll do better. Not that I've done terribly here. Like, I think... Having played Breath of the Wild before this, it really did help. Like... 
The amount of times where I just seem to autopilot to where the Korok is the moment the mask has gone off. That's just because, yeah. Breath of the Wild. Just straight up, like... You kind of know what to expect. It's, it's hard to explain. Oh no, yeah. If I play this again, like, every time there's, there's a 2x where I have to... If it's more than something that's, say, just crossing a river, I will go back the way I came. You can definitely count on that. I also know the extent of the Sky Islands now, it's like, so... Anywhere where there's, like, a, a cross shape with a launcher, there will be a Korok there. And most of the Rubble Islands don't really have anything, so you don't have to stress about those. Have I beaten this thing? I may have already. It's beaten. Don't care, then. I'm only fighting if I haven't beaten it. It's just the blue one anyway, it's horn isn't going to be of any benefit right now. Okay. Go back to where the path is. saying this earlier. <laughs> I should have listened when people were trying to nudge me in the uh, direction of the Lost Woods or the Underground. But I'm gonna blame the whole situation of me not getting the Korok Mask early on the fact that I just did not enjoy the Underground. Anything about them. Shit, there's a pier I haven't checked there. Okay, hold on. Why didn't I check that pier? Oh, there's a rock there. No, it's not. That's a troll right there. That looked like a Korok. They're so evil, they do shit like this all the time. Where they'll place a rock just on its own. Just like that, and it's nothing. I can't, I can't ignore that. <laughs> I can't ignore that. There's two dragons there. There's two dragons there. I can't ignore that. That is just too good. Okay, uh, which one's which? That's light, where's Nadra? I need to go for Nadra, because I don't think enough time has passed for Light Dragon to be ready. Or maybe it is. Alright, first... 
Okay, we can see it from here. It's not ready. But I might just uh, shoot myself into the air again. It's been... It's been six minutes. Give or take. It might be time. What's going on? Alright, I'm going back to the tower. Okay. This would be such good timing if I could get like a another another one. Okay, go. It's a bit further away, but I can get to it. Looking if it might be closer to another tower. I don't think it's close enough to include a tower. I don't think it's recovered yet, but if the 10 minute rule is correct, this should be like just about ready to come back alive. Like I wouldn't have to be on it long and it's probably worth it to secure another half hour. There we go. Look at that timing. That's what I call timing. Alright, cool. Now we can go back to what we're doing. Uh, we hadn't reached the markers yet. I guess this is probably... Yeah, go from the tower and float down. That's fine. So I have speed buffs for an hour and a half. Uh, wait, an hour and 50... An hour and 50 minutes if you count the one that I'm using. So I think we're good for the rest of uh, what I'm going to be doing today. Yeah. Distraction, but worth it. Okay, green first. Green, 
then gold, then I'll walk around the back to this blue, and then come back. I know it's a little inefficient, but... I think the important thing is that I do walk along these things. Do I got a... Uh, no, I could probably go to dark blue now. Let's just go to dark blue now. Just gotta make sure I don't completely glide across everything. Cross the bridge. All right. Oh, this is the one that has a brigade. All right. Yeah, fuck that. It feels like I'm playing Breath of the Wild <laughs> right now. Just with the rainy Zora's domain. Like there's anything in that. Good. I keep forgetting to swap back. There we go. to low ground this time because I know I've done high ground. than purple. Alright. The nice thing is I don't have to look for caves as well. That's, that's a nice thing to have out of my mind. I don't have to think about caves. I never really used this outside of, uh, Sabantha. green now. I'm just making sure that I'm sort of zigzagging as I go. Yeah, okay, so green is like this sort of mishmash of stuff. I can see why I never went here. Look at all these lizards just chilling here.
<laughs> I don't like fighting them. <laughs> just... I think the bad taste of Trial of the Sword and that stupid fucking room still linger. I just- I don't want to fight those things if I don't have to. They're just annoying. That a Korok? Asshole. <laughs> that is such bait. That totally looked one, like one as well. It was just completely on its own. But that's the problem is you can't, you can't just go, oh, yeah, that's nothing. You have to check it. Okay, I need to get that one. I remember I still need to collect blue Lazalfo stuff, so. What was that? Where blue go? There you are. Oh, that was black, not blue. Still got a tail. Yeah. I'd say I'm pretty content with that. Just the cave. That's a blue one. Pretty much straight to purple. I think we can be happy with uh, this one. I guess lastly, I'll just walk up the road. Hold on. No, okay. False alarm. Yeah, so you know, not everything's gonna be a winner. Compare this to everywhere around Goron City where I just found so many. I haven't found a single one. Why does the game hate me? Like, how many times do I play games where I say something and then almost fucking immediately the game is like, what do you mean? Yeah. This one's worth two, so... I just have this talent of doing that to myself. Hello. 
now I have to backtrack? No, I don't. Because it's just... In the case of this one, I'm just shooting it across the river here. Does... Well... I'll have to look in the immediate area. Which I was going to anyway. It's not as big of a backtrack. Please make it. That should be fine. No, but that's good. That one's worth... That one is worth two. It's still the same one. Alright, where did you land? I'm not sure where it landed. Okay, uh... I guess this is the one problem with shooting it into the air like this, is I don't know where it landed. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, I was like, right there. Okay, so I'm gonna look around the immediate area. Let me just glide around these trees and the bridge, but I think it should be okay. Like, it started registering from about here. So I'm gonna go up here as well. Okay, that's satisfactory. Cause I, I I didn't have to move, I just shot it. So this is fine. Okay, now we're going into let me just also for good measure, right? Now we're gonna do a lap of this. But I'm gonna make a bike for it, otherwise it's just gonna take too long. Okay, uh How many are we down to now? Like, are we down to seven? Is it seven? Or is it less? It might be less. Because that one was worth two. Yeah, I think it's seven. We'll see. I'm sure I'll have to warp somewhere. Alright. Uh... So, I mean, no real method to this is just stick low and just fly around. Because there's a few two times Koroks. So, I, I would not be able to figure out what path they took. So, instead, I'm just going to fly around here. Yeah. But, very big difference from here in Elden. In Elden... I found, what, six? <laughs> this, this, this has had basically no result except that one, out of spite. So, after here I'm gonna walk to Farron. I know that sounds annoying, but I'm not teleporting around this time just because uh, I don't want to miss anything, you know? 
Well, I guess I'm not walking, I'm flying. Because I'll still have this, but... It'll be a low ground flight. Okay, so this is one of the two X's. I'm gonna fly around here. I'm gonna land it here actually for a minute. And so this doesn't become like a six hour box. <laughs> I'll do a small intermission once I'm done clearing these wetlands. Uh, honestly, this is going better than I thought. I was kind of afraid I'd only find like five today. Because when you get down to the final 20 or so, they are a pain in the ass. I'm just happy my strategy is working. And I can only think how this would be going if I did not make that realization with the double Koroks. and shooting. I don't know what children was shooting. It is a little bit of a waste of the, the speed buff. But it's fine. I'm just trying to fly to the major landmarks, pretty much. I'm gonna have to land anyway, it's fine. I'm pretty sure I've, I have it covered. Yeah, okay. That's already got a Korok on it. You know, the other thing, I have no idea how many are left are wells. I don't think it'll 
I wonder if it would tell you, hmm, you've entered your last well. I don't think it did, because it didn't tell me I entered my last cave, so... Maybe I should just check in with her and see. I don't know, she's happy. I'm just so sad about the president signs that I just wish they had an icon on the map so I could see where I have done them. Then I'd be able to figure out where maybe I'd find more, but it's just weirdly missing. I think if I want to do all the president stuff, I'm probably just going to have to look up a map. Sadly. At this point, I would imagine there's only like a small handful of ones I haven't done. Did I find any more presidents? Uh, yesterday I found one, I believe. It's been pretty quiet on that front. None today. feel about that. I did look primarily around here, so... I'm happy. It looked really empty, like I could not spot anything visually. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go straight to Farron. I'm not gonna bother, like, sort of marking some of the other ones along the way. If I run into stuff coincidentally, fine. But I'm going to Farron, and... I notice, like, around here, look look at this. That doesn't count as Farron, but, like, look at... When I turn that off, it's even worse. Look at, look at that. There. There. Here. Ugh, even this beach, to some extent. Like, look at that. There's, like... That is lazy. Here. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're going there. I don't know why the default isn't to just view it like... the way I like it, like that. I think more often than not, it's more useful to look at it with the lines of your current elevation and not bring the others into the mix. Because it just complicates it. 
But don't get me wrong, it's still useful to, to be able to see stuff at another height, but I find more often than not, it just makes things difficult to read. Maybe it's personal preference, but... I just prefer it to be as clean as possible. So as long as I'm heading roughly south, it's fine. I checked here already. I'm going up this way. I recognize that <laughs> where I was. Trying to cover new land as well. Where possible. I bet all the reward for the president is just going to be a sale cloth with the president's logo. I already know, like, I mean, okay, I don't know, but like, I know. Given what the other rewards for completing stuff has been so far. was a Korok for a second. I saw a flower. It wasn't a flower. Alright, rest here for a minute. Hester will give cloth instead of poop. Or a cloth with the poop logo on it. So it would be usable. Yeah, still still better than what it was in Breath of the Wild. Like, not gonna deny that. I would prefer I keep saying like if it was a hat, I'd I would love it. I'd wear that and beat the boss. Final boss. Kind of arriving nearby. So where was it again? It was like, yeah, here. Yeah. So we're doing here. We're doing here. We're doing here. Uh, yeah, look at that. I like that corner. Probably going to be tricky. 
I think that's a that's a good start. And then probably here. And we'll end up on red. So what I'll do, I'll get to this shrine here. Okay. Wait, I don't let it recharge. So, I mean, what? It, it's like, it's a minimum of four Koroks and a maximum of seven. That's what we're looking at that remain. Because if there's seven seeds, that means, yeah. At best, four Koroks, at worst, seven Koroks. in Breath of the Wild knowledge, because this was one of the last things I did in Breath of the Wild, funnily enough. I ended up in Farron. Doing exactly this. self-conscious about these. It's just... It's not the most exciting thing when there's nothing for like 20 minutes. I mean, if you look at the last the last hour, let, let's be real. Aside from that Korok that uh, appeared out of spite, it would seem, um, there, was, there was nothing that happened in that hour, practically. Okay, so it's been almost three hours, right? The first hour, basically, the, nothing happened from a Korok perspective. I did get the last, the last gem for the bubble frogs, so that was fine. Hour two, just everything in Elden that was great. Found a lot of them there, but then this last hour has just been fuck this game and those random rocks. <laughs> I thought that was a Korok. It's, it wasn't. They put so many of those. Yeah, we've, we've had like one, really. That's a silver Lionel. This would explain why this... This has been empty. Yeah, but that's just how it goes. It's 
For each one I find, it just means it just becomes an even larger map. <laughs> Needle in a haystack territory. <laughs> ah! <laughs> where? It wasn't even anywhere near where I marked. This is another undercave thing, isn't it? No. What the fuck? I, I swear I've walked through this cave before. Okay, where is this thing? Is it just up this tree? It's just up this tree. Okay. Yeah, haha, -ha, indeed. Six remain. Well, three Koroks or six seeds. Anywhere between three to six Koroks. But six seeds in total. Oh, fuck off. I have like five sages. One of them attack the bat, please. have a literal fucking entourage. Not a single one of them lifts a finger. It's taken a lot of willpower to not just turn them off. So a Chulin is the only one that does preemptive strikes from a dis- If it's close range, Chulin doesn't do much, which is fair enough. He's a sniper. But when it comes to, like, attacking a threat that's about to attack me from long distance, invaluable. You know, Bo, there's, like, an enemy right next to me beating on me, doesn't think to do a thing. Not just him, but you know. When he does finally decide to do something, his attack takes like three seconds to swing. at the shrine that I said I was going to arrive at. Okay, so this doesn't turn into a six hour VOD because yesterday's one was five hours. We're going to take an intermission here. I'm going to get a beverage. I'm going to continue this Korok hunt across Baron. Um, I'm going to put a heart here. Yeah. If you have stuck around to the end, thank you so much for watching, if you're watching later on YouTube. I know the Korok Hunt can be an acquired taste, let's call it. <laughs> but I do hope you've enjoyed so far. And if you want to support the content, please consider clicking buttons for algorithm purposes and whatnot. But thanks to those that have been doing that, it does help the channel out a lot. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you next time, YouTube. Bye, YouTube!